Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is the brand new Magic Trackpad 2. Apple released this a few days ago, and I actually was unable to find it in a store, so I ordered it and it finally arrived. So this is the new Magic Trackpad. It's pretty expensive, comes in at $129, and what you get is a trackpad that's force touch. So let's take a look at this. We'll open it up here. I started to open it here on the corner. And I do have the old trackpad for comparison. Now I actually use a mouse and plan to use this because this particular trackpad adds force touch. So that's similar to the trackpads on all of the different MacBooks. So let's slide this open. One thing they've changed is they've actually made this white and I'll show you the comparison with the old one, but let's pull this out of here. It has some good weight to it. It's got a lightning cable in here to pair and charge. And then we've got our Magic Trackpad 2 manual. And then in the back, we have our regulatory information. So let's set that aside and let's take a look at the trackpad itself. This is the trackpad. And as you can see, it's wrapped. So let's open that up. There we go. Now on the bottom, it's actually gloss plastic, similar to that of the keyboard, the new Apple keyboard. And we've just got these four rubber feet. On the top, it's just white glass. On the sides, nothing really. On the back, we have our slot for our antenna. This is our lightning cable, and then an on-off switch. We just flip it on like that. This is a glass trackpad, just like the previous one, but now it's white. And let me show you compared to the old one. So here's the old trackpad. So instead of being a little bit longer to compensate for two AA batteries, Apple has actually included lithium ion batteries inside. The actual angle is slightly different. This is actually a little more shallow or this way. So let me show you. We could actually slide this right underneath like that. So it's pretty thin and they've changed the angle slightly, but there's no need for these AA batteries anymore. Now the old trackpad actually has a mechanism that uses these little bumpers here and they click and they work pretty well but this one's actually force sensitive. So that means it's got four different sensors underneath this glass that, f that actually sense force and using your press of your finger can do different things on the Mac that you're using. So you can add force touch to any Mac. So in order to pair this, we're just simply going to plug this in and it will pair right away. So let's go ahead and turn this on. We'll plug in our lightning cable and you'll see it will pair right away. Now you can pair this if you don't have the lightning cable, you can pair it with other devices as well, but immediately it says it's ready to use. So now if I go up and go to settings and we can just leave this plugged in also, you can see I've got a bunch of different things connected to it right now, but this is the trackpad too. And we can look at different settings for this, or we can go to settings and go to our trackpad settings and you can see all of the different things. So we can do tap to click with one finger. You can turn that on. We've also got scroll and zoom. We also have silent clicking, so maybe we don't want it to make noise. It won't really make any noise. You can actually feel what it feels like down in the trackpad. It actually has a mechanism similar to that of the MacBook that has the little mechanism in it that when you push, it's not actually doing anything, but you feel a click. So that's pretty neat. We also have some scroll and zoom options and some more gestures as well. So app expo expose pull down with three fingers. I actually use that and we can change everything here as well. If we want to customize that at my website here, what we can do with force touch is highlight a word and then push a little bit harder and it will pop up the dictionary for it. You can look up Wikipedia maps or news and also you can do the same with a link. So if I push down on that link, push a little bit past it, you can see that's actually the full page link to my actual video of the Magic Mouse 2 and Magic Keyboard. So it's a pretty nice feature. I actually find it useful on MacBooks, but you actually push past the trackpad and it pops that up. The Magic Trackpad 2 is really nice and I'll be using it as my main device for now on with my Mac Pro that I'm using it with. Now just to show you, this is a glass piece and when you click it, you can actually feel it between this aluminum piece and the glass piece on top. This also fits the same contour as the new keyboard that they came out with. And if you put them side by side, 
you'll see they match up nicely and they're the same height this way. They're actually on the same angle and the top of the glass here is at the same height as the top of the keys. So you move your fingers over from the key to the trackpad and they just look nice together. Although I don't think a lot of people will be using this keyboard, but either way, let me know what you think of the trackpad in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.